Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of Saints Row the Third. If you guys are enjoying this series, please do drop a like, it does help the series out a lot. So we're continuing from where we left off here, let's do this mission. Face your fear, Angel. Wasting. Go to Angel's Casino. Angel, where are you? I see you made it to the final test. Answer my question! At the gym, training. Don't move. Tiger? If you're fighting the luchadors, you need to be ready for anything. A fucking tiger? Don't lose the <laughs> message in the method. You mastered your fear. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're ready to face Kilbane, but the luchadors must still be dealt with. You know where to find me if you need more training. Okay, so let's start doing, um, uh, let's start doing the next one. Um, I guess we'll do some McKinsey's missions here now. Kinsey, how's it? Good, I need help. Everything all right? If it was all right, I wouldn't need help, would I? The boxes are too heavy. Boxes? What boxes? I'm moving stuff into my place. There are boxes. Some are too heavy for me. I need help. Got it? I'll be right over. I thought someone who just got out of captivity would want to live it up a little more. Not really. I hate people. Oh. Okay, so do you have anything on the Deckers? Not yet. Okay, then what have you been doing since you got out? Power leveling. You're killing me, Kinsey. I can't help you take down the Deckers until I know where they're hiding. So I wrote a program that tracks the user's physical location while they're logged on. That's... awesome. Just play the damn game and I can pinpoint where the Deckers are in real life. And now we're talking. Oh, this one now. This is like Kinsey's version of trailblazing. I remember this. Kind of like Tron themes. So what's the point here? I power level your cycle to be able to blow past any security block the Decker users put up. Uh, Meaning what? I just drive into things? Pretty much. Oh, I'm not yeah. supposed to hit not those, okay. Up. Okay, so the blue ones I can hit. The red, uh, red ones I can't. And you know, one thing I'll say is what I what I did miss about like. Have you ever driven a motorcycle before? Of course. Mm, you couldn't tell. Jeez, in Saints Row, in Saints Row 2, it was that like the activities had multiple levels. Where in this game, they only have like one level each. There's like uh, easy, medium, and hard activities. And once you complete that, that's that's it for that activity in that area. How long do I keep this up? Until you hit the end. That'll hit the most users. Not so bad. Okay, and now I guess we start up another one with Kinsey? Mayhem, oh. You need to disrupt one of their shell companies. Anyone in particular? A fence company. That's fence like a barrier, not fence like buyer of stolen goods. You're kidding me, right? The company that makes them is seriously bad news. If you'd rather a corrupt, sinister organization keep making money... I, I'll do it. It's easier to say yes than understand the reason with you. What was that? Nothing. Mayhem. This is actually one of my favorite activities. Um cause widespread chaos so the trick with basically the trick with mayhem is to complete these easily you gotta start building up a, a streak and then start throwing grenades if you have any kind of explosives grenades you know rpgs those are the ones that you're gonna want to use and so what you're gonna want to do is you want to look around for stuff like this like small things that you can blow up because like there's like a lot of small things in like one one area and if you trigger these explosions here, you can bring up these combos by a lot. So you see, I just got an extra combo there. Five. Okay, there's nothing really nothing here. Like um, carnage. Go in these alleys here, see if I can find things. Okay, fences. Fences are great. Like this garbage right here. Okay, look at that. Seven. 
throw some right here. Throw at these fences Gotta here. Love my job. Uh, 38 combo right now, can't... Yeah, a little hard when you can't find anything to blow up here. Oh, this is therapeutic. Okay, this is gonna get me a good combo now. Ah! Oh, wow! Okay, nice ah. Whenever I do these, I try to avoid the gang members and the cops as much as possible, but usually you don't have get- in the- in the old Saints Row games, you never really had gang members coming after you, instead you had police coming after you in this activity. Oh, oh. oh perfect. Okay, we're gonna pass it right here. There's a lot of stuff to destroy right here. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be easy now. Oh, this is therapeutic. Ah, almost had it on that, kept that combo going. But yeah, these small little things, these are the trick to always completing, like, um... Always completing, like, a rampage. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I did, okay. Okay. Uh, Guardian Angel. Out. What? What was? T what the? How? How did I just die? Okay, that I'm 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 confused right now. Thank God, I need your help. Kenzie, I am not moving any more boxes. I went out and they found me. Who? The Deckers. Who else have I been hacking? Wait, don't answer that. I'll come help you get out. No, get into position and cover me instead. Right. So this is another version of Guardian Angel where you follow um, uh, Kinsey in a helicopter and then protect her with a sniper rifle. I do like how there's like a lot of challenges in Saints Row the Third, um, and you can keep track of them in the, um, All book. Right, I know, I saw the Deckers coming. Just keep me safe, okay? You got nothing to worry about, Kinsey. You got Saints with you. Easy for you to say when you're not being followed. You think hanging up here is easy? You can do it next time. This is just weird. Like, I it, it's... I always win. Okay, 600 meters, but... The boss is, like, hanging from, like, a helicopter and taking shots, like... Like... The reason I find this weird is because wouldn't it make more sense to be on a rooftop? Like, you wouldn't be hanging like this in this weird position, um... Okay, got him. Yeah, I've been playing too much Sniper Elite going a bit crazy right now. Nice try! I think I see the car. Get in. I'll cover you from the air.
the, the she, she crashed. Um, oh. I could have been at home on my computer, but no. Someone suggested that I grow as a person. Okay. I don't see any enemies. Strange. Oh, there we go. Now your your allies can take a lot of damage from uh the RPG, so you gotta really be careful how to hit them. Man, the boss reloads the RPG so fast. Oh no, Kenzie lost almost half her health. Computer, but no. Someone suggested that I grow as a person. Ah, these things now. Okay, it's like 70, she's 75% of the way back, but her car's really damaged. Okay, I hope I don't mess this up. Damn. Help. Help will be good. Okay, she's she's arrived. Ooh, that was close. Okay, let's see here. Another mission from Ke Heli Assault now. There a way to fix that? Yep. I have to visit each location separately and hack into them locally. You'll never get close enough without them spotting you. I will if you're watching over me. Like with a helicopter. With guns. Yeah. I bet that'll work. It's better. I already found the helicopter. I like how they don't even explain where the saints get all these vehicles from. Like, at the beginning of the game, Pierce is like, you know, why don't you cause chaos with a tank? And then this tank just spawns. They don't even explain where they got it from. But, um, Heli Assault, um... This is actually one of the, the least popular activities. In Saints Row 2, this is actually, an, I, and I think this is the same thing in Saints Row the Third, but this is actually an activity that a lot of Saints Row fans didn't like. Um, uh, the reason they didn't like is because it was like, you had to constantly watch the target, watch where they're driving, and there's so many vehicles coming out. So even though you're driving like you're flying an attack helicopter, which is kind of cool, I guess people just didn't like the length of these um, uh, heli assault. But let me know in the comments if you guys like heli assault or not. Because I know, like, in Saints Row 2 is like an activity a lot of people didn't like. I don't tell you how to hack. You don't tell me how to fly an attack chopper. Makes sense. Okay. So in this in this one you're flying a hind, but in the um, uh, in Saints Row 2 you would fly the cobra. Okay. And the missiles aren't lock on with this. Okay. Well, it can fire missiles pretty quickly. Son of a bitch! Okay, 
Harry guy. I think he's dead. Yeah, just stand at the area they're driving at, and eventually they um they're gonna get blown up by it. You do your thing. <laughs> that wasn't very hard. They should upgrade their security here. Probably better they didn't. Huh, still got it. Oh, they... They send their own helicopters after you. Okay. Forgot about that. When they're really close to Kinji, it's probably better to use the, the minigun instead of using the um, missiles. Okay, which way are they going? Okay. Yeah, to spam all the missiles, this thing has, like, it can fire missiles so fast, and eventually it'll hit them. Um... Another network building's close by. Son of a bitch! Two down, on to the next. Whoa. Okay. Got him. Okay, yeah, so like I said, time-consuming activity, but it's not, a, it's not a, a hard one. But, like, some of the ones in Saints Row 3, I mean, Saints Row 2 could be really hard, like, level 6. Um, the thing is, the Shandi ones, there's there's two versions of Heli Assault in Saints Row 2, the Shandi one and the Pierce one. The Shandi one isn't that bad, because a lot of it is in the suburbs, which makes it, like, easy to hit the targets. But the Pierce ones, when Pierce is, like, getting chased by the Brotherhood, are the worst, because there's, like... There's just so many angles that they can come from, and, like, the buildings constantly get in the way when you're trying to do things. Oh, they're far. Oh, they blew up on their own. What? Okay, that's weird. Okay, last one coming up. That's it. I'm tapped into all three sites now. I hope that helps. You can handle anyone. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got a gang operation here. Might as well do this then. I'll be back. So gang operations, these are like um basically like small little hideouts that spawn and like once you clear them out, then you um uh you control that territory. Okay. 
Might as well just buy this friendly fire here, too. Ah. Saints Row 3 is the easiest game to lose a wanted level in, because all you gotta do is just go into an own property and that's it. See? You lost them. Easy. Okay, let's see here. Uh, phone freak. Okay. Kinsey, how's the information you got on the Deckers coming? It's compiling. So what's next? Not talking over the phone now. Too many people could be listening. Okay. Smiling Jacks. Go there. Okay. Buy this property, too, if I have enough money, that is. Let's see. I do, okay. Wow, $2,000 is for, like, a flat like that. Um, so these, like, these will, like, you know, you know, get you territory and help you, um, uh, help you make money. Nothing slows me down. You should be more careful. I saw you coming two blocks ago. Traffic cameras. They're everywhere in this town. Good to know. I'm serious. You should toss out your fancy overpriced phone. I can find you through that too. Yeah, look, I feel kind of weird having a conversation like this. Totally agree. We should be using like that Navajo code dialect. Come up for air. I took care of the Deckers. Sure. Let down your guard and suddenly they make it look like you're selling secrets to Mossad and moonlighting as a dominatrix. You've created a big enough disruption for you to move on, Matt Miller. But if you want the Deckers gone, like really gone, there's a lot of work to do. All right. I'll hit you up if I need any more help. Remember, throw out your phone! <laughs> also, what, uh, here's the thing. What Kinsey was referring to, Navajo, that's actually Native American language. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think Navajo was the language that the um, uh, Native American, like, soldiers in the U.S. Army during World War II used. Um, basically, they used that as, like, um, they used that to transmit, like, long-distance messages, codes and stuff. And so the Japanese were not able to interpret that because they didn't understand uh, the language. And so that, the, the, um, that, that actually helped a lot during World War II. And there's a movie about it called the, um... It was a Nicolas Cage movie. It was a Nicolas Cage movie. There's a specific movie about that. But it confused the Japanese a lot and was a tremendous help during World War II. Um, let me see here. What next mission? Um, I guess we'll do... Um, uh, okay. Shandy's mission was this now. Go to the party. Hey, Shandy, I was... Are you fucking kidding me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I do? A party? We're throwing a fucking party now. Party? I didn't... Shit. Pierce... Oh. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, hold on, Shandy. You're not killing Pierce. You're taking his side? I'm not doing anything. Not until I talk to him. All right? Fine. I'll see you at the penthouse. Okay, purchase Planet Saints, too. You purchase these properties, um, you get more control, and you get discounts also. Um, okay, let's see here. Um... Okay, we gotta get over to the penthouse, so Pierce is throwing a party. And, um, you know, this is one of the biggest, like, things that, like, um, that, like, um, uh, that annoyed a lot of fans about Saints Row 3 is that Shandi is so much different in this game. Like, she is so, so different. Her personality. Like, Shandi is like, um, uh, Shandi is like, you know, very aggressive, but, like, in a different way. Like, Gat was pretty aggressive in Saints Row 2. But, um, uh, Gat was also, I would say, like, um, humor, humor, humoring at times. But, like, Shandi, she was just always, like, very chill in, like, Saints Row 2. And then in Saints Row the 3rd, she just, like, freaks out. And the thing is, the boss knew Johnny way more longer than, than, uh, than Shandi did. And Johnny supposedly died, and, like, literally, Shandi is taking it more personally than the boss. And that's, like, that's something that, like, the fans didn't understand too well. And what actually happened was, in Saints Row 4, the developers actually saw this, that, that like, fans were commenting about Shandi's, like, how different she was. And what they did was, they added, like, Fun Shandi into Saints Row 4, which is, like, another version of Shandi. And so, uh, they were both arguing with each other. But yeah, I, I personally liked Shandi way more in Saints Row 2. Um, I just, I 
just don't understand why she was chained so much in Saints Row the Third. Oh, I hope I don't get a copyright claim for this. Johnny's dead and you're throwing a fucking party? Well, when you say it like that, sure it sound bad. I was saddled up in a human pony show. Will you see me crying about a little girl? I swear to God, I will shove that thing down your throat hole. Whoa, Shondi. We can't mourn Gat forever. Eventually, you gotta get back on the horse. No offense, brother. He's right. Whatever. Damn, girl! Life is for the living and shit! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I really hope I don't get claimed for this. What's up, girl? <laughs> I remember this, too. Well, at least you have a lot of allies in this. Um, about the crazy bitches with guns. Saints are gonna own this city. Nice hit, Holmes. Okay, let me um turn down music here. Um. Looks like the songs are still playing in the background. I really hope I don't get claimed. I do like these handguns a lot. Your party, you tell me. This ain't on me, baby. I like looking at the good when I have company. You know what I'm saying? They must have cut it. Now, this just gets better and better. <laughs> Looks okay. like there's a light show outside. Snipers, better grab a rifle and get up top. On it! I love these handguns, how you can just spam them, like you fire so fast. Well, get your back while you take out those snipers. No scope. Okay, kill the snipers. Greatest. 
No, using like a big laser sight like that uh, uh, is not a good idea. This gives away your position. Let's get some power up in here. I'm tired of tripping over bodies. That shit's downstairs after you. There we go. Oh, like, get it, wait. You have to cancel the party. It's a trap. I noticed. So it's over? I should have known a few helicopters wouldn't stop you. Helicopters? What are you. I always win. I'm impressed! Get anti air weapon. Probably an RPG. I can't get a shot. This deck. I can't get a shot here. Ah! There's more! Great. Ladies, it was a pretty shit plan. Tell me something, Matt. Did you have a plan? How about you, Eddie? There's a reason Philippe left the thinking to us. We're done here. This was like a really unexpected death. Like, I didn't expect this when I was playing through it the first time. Viola, your sun is setting. But it's not too late. There's still time to grab Apollo's chariot and drive that fucker back across the sky. You feel me? Yes, Kilby. Ah, apology accepted. Hey, I'll come to a VIP faster murder brawl. That'll cheer you up. Now you see, um... The thing, the Killbane did a really stupid thing there by killing her Viola and then the other sister. I'm trying to remember what her uh, name was, but um, uh, uh, the De Winter sisters, what they were, um, they're called. So Killbane did a really stupid thing by killing her because Viola, is, and he still lets Viola like work for him, like it's like v Viola would have no loyalty to him and would get get. Any chance she would, she would screw him over, which I pretty much predicted. When I played this the first time, I was like, Viola is gonna is gonna be betray Kilbane now, and I kind of called it. I'm sorry for a little spoiler, but it's gonna be in the in the next part. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll have the next part up for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day.